check it out. This is the final edition of our Spooktacular Spooptober Chairquisition series. This is where we take a game, we rate it on a pass-fail basis for if it launches, if it performs at 1080, graphics, graphical fidelity or glitches, and controls, and then we rate it on a scale from one to four chairs to tell you how much fun or lack thereof we had with it this week we're taking a look at farm together oh my god it's horrible, horrible. look at all that <laughs> look at all those colors and sunlight and plants we i hate it truly i hate saved it. <laughs> the most terrifying game for last I, I just shit yes. my pants. Any, anyways, um, it's developed by Milkstone Studios on Unity. Milkstone did send us some keys for that, so thanks a lot. You can pick it up for about 20 uh, USD. What is it? Grow your far, your own farm by yourself or cooperate with your with your friends in this unique, relaxing farming <laughs> experience. I'm not I'm not relaxing at all. This thing's stressing me out, You're man. You're so terrified you can barely read the description. <laughs> I know. like I, it's, it's scary. So, uh, I mean, how frightening is it on Ubuntu, then? Hey man, I, I tried that on Spook Buntu, 1804 LTS, whatever the fuck it is this week. Does it run? Yeah, it does, man. Uh, Ryzen 1700 for this juggernaut of a fucking game. Uh, 16 gigajoules of RAM, NVMe, all that fun stuff. Powered by 980 that is slowly dying, as we learned in the pre-pre-super shows. And, um, it launches if you like having seizures. Because I like to joke around, it's like, oh, this game will give somebody a seizure. This motherfucker will take a person out. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow. I was kind of impressed. I was like, what is this custom engine? No, it's just Unity. And I get a little upset with you, Milkstone. Just a little bit because you're like, it's a version of Unity that caused this. I got a lot of games on this particular build of Unity. It is not a problem with Unity. Anyway, if you put in some cryptic moon spooky, we got to keep that theme up throughout this to excuse me for playing this. Um, <laughs> but that w w it'll be in the show notes with everything else if you want to pick it up and try it. You can get it to launch, then you can set it, and everything will work fine. So, nah, I'm going to have to give it a fail on the launch. Performance, 60 at 1080. That's what it was set at. I didn't bother with V-Sync because, fuck it, come on, look at it. Um, not saying it looks bad, because let's talk about the graphics. It looks like a really, really well-done mobile game. And what what are you doing to that tractor? <laughs> trying, trying to pop wheelies, it looks like. <laughs> yes. Is this succeeding? Uh, <laughs> If you're going to control it uh, out of the box with the keyboard and gerbil, I didn't try it with anything else because uh, that's kind of what this is uh, made for. So, yeah, outside of, you know, launching, uh, everything else was fine. But, yeah, th 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 that's that's not a good way to start. How was it on Fedora? On Spoopdora, Spoopy28, um, uh, with the i7-6700K and the Spooky GTX 1080Ti. Um, yeah, launch-wise, yeah, we got to do the aforementioned Force GL Core 42, Force Clamp D, CLI option, if you want the game to, you know, run. Um, Performance-wise, um, at first it was a little chuggy. I was petrified, but then it smoothed out uh, at 1080. <laughs> I didn't bother playing this at UHD because I don't feel this game really deserves it. Because look at it. It looks like something made in 2006. Um yeah, uh, gra graphics-wise, yeah, it looks like something made in 2006. <laughs> uh, controls, uh, it's a Unity game, so it picked up the uh, DualShock, uh, gave me Xbox prompts, but everything worked with the controller. I didn't actually think to try it with the keyboard. I plugged in my controller and everything worked. So I will give it three out of four for Fedora. What, yeah, what about Spooky here, Solus? On Solus with the Ryzen 5 1600 and the uh, GTX 1080, it, um, yeah, no, it, it doesn't launch. It just doesn't. It's a seizure-tastic blurry screen that, uh, yeah, you need those, uh, Force Clamp GL, Force GL Core 42, and you can set your, uh, screen resolution. That'll actually save you from having to set it in the options menu later on. But, uh, yeah, don't worry. That'll be, uh, the show notes will have the necessary stuff. The performance at 1080, it peaks at, it peaks at around 120-ish. With um, uh, most of the gameplay, it generally holds around 100. At 3840 by 2160, the FURPS count is about half with dips into the 40s. So, yeah, you might want to keep it to 1080. The graphics, it has anti-aliasing, depth of field, and motion blur as far as the advanced options go. And to Milkstone's credit, they work properly. I still disabled motion blur because it still looks like absolute ass. Controls, yeah, no, even on the lowest point in the um, mouse sensitivity slider, it 
uh, it's a little too fast for my liking, but you can rebind everything, and uh, you don't really need pinpoint accuracy for farm together, so it gets a pass for ch uh, three chairs. <laughs> All right. Well, looks like it sucks equally to set command line options, regardless of your distro. Um, mm -hmm. Fun wise, Ben, did you did you have fun, or were you just completely terrified? So terrifying. Look at it. It has everything that I'm afraid of: tractors, Pigs. skies, um, chickens, ponytails. <laughs> Um, <laughs> hey, uh, be, check it out. It for me, like right out of the box, it clicked, and I was like, "This is a hurry up and wait simulator," because I lack the genuine, absolute fuck out of whatever it is that causes people to get sucked into these little time vampires. I'm talking games like in just the genre, like Farmville, Candy Crush, and the like, and that's kind of why I'm unable to recommend Farm Together, since it's air quotes that game. You know, I, I gave it the business. I gave it like straight up hours. Like maybe this is going to be the game that changes my mind about this entire genre of click on things and wait for stuff. But at the end of the day, it's the same formula, kids. Um, you're going to do work. You're going to make money. Then you're going to buy useless shite to show off to your friends and your farm. And too real. Oh, my God. Uh, a little close to home. Nothing made me step, take a step back. Strip naked and prance about screeching Eureka. Now I get this entire genre of things. I'm going to go buy them all. That didn't happen. Um, <laughs> however, on the flip side of this terror, least look at how spooky it is. We're going to keep up this theme. Um, it's well done. It is a genuinely well done work. Make money buy useless shy to show off to your friend simulator uh, for fun. I just going to give it a one. Because this isn't my jam, and this is not against Milkstone in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It comes in at 19.99 wet, stinky American caches. It's got multiplayer. It's got coop. It's got online queue up. But if you're the type that has looked at like Farmville and stuff of that genre, I mean, this is a well done 3D customize all this bullshit and buy tractors and make them jump. Even with the online aspect and all this business thrown in, this isn't going to change your mind. It's just not. Peace out. Yeah, like I'm playing this game, put put about like an hour forty five minutes into it, and I'm farming the shit out of some lettuce. Like I got that level six lettuce life. I'm feeling good about myself. <sighs> so so playing this, it, it took me a couple of minutes, but I finally narrowed down the feeling I get while playing this game. I'm one of those people who like hates having unread notifications for like emails or instant messages or shit like that. So the second it pops up, I want to make that go away. That is this game. I'm like, oh, yeah, I gotta check the timers. I gotta I gotta water shit. I just I just got to make all these little icons go away so I can be happy. Oh wait, no, they're back. Fuck. Well, now I got to do this all over again. Rinse, repeat. That's actually a little bit stressful for me to be perfectly <laughs> honest. It, it 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 triggers a particular compulsion of mine that just does not fit well with this game. Um, but I I didn't really have fun playing this game. There was a little bit of satisfaction making all those little growy picky icons go away, but then they come back again. And I really, I really feel like this game benefits from the intention of coming back and playing it more because like, I couldn't, I couldn't make myself do that. I just don't care enough about farming and like the, the farming is well done. You, you plant your, 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 your roses or your cotton or your apples or your lettuce or whatever. You wait the requisite amount of time. If you water them, sometimes the time it requires to wait goes down, which I guess is where the multiplayer aspect comes in. Cause you can, you know, divide and conquer. I bought some, I bought an additional plot of land. So I have huge tracts of land now. And by the end of it, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go watch Castlevania right now. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's 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 well done. Like Ben said, if this is your jam, then you know, maybe maybe this is something that you want to check out with some friends. But like, I, I I don't see this unseating something like Stardew Valley or anything like that. I'm gonna give it one chair. I didn't really enjoy myself playing it. What about you, well, Pedro? Uh, last week Spooky when I said, Pedro, yes, ooh, last week when I said that the game had the uh, very scary uh possibility that uh, it would very much be like a 3d farmville well uh i had only played like a couple of minutes of it but after basically losing two hours to it and only feeling like maybe 30 minutes had gone by i think they that milkstone accomplished the uh, milkstone studios that i tried to mash those two words together uh they accomplished their mission 
if, of course, their mission was to create a completely mindless time vampire about collecting virtual eggplants. Uh, the game, like, everything that you see, it has just charm pouring all over it. Uh, there's, like, the characters were very clearly designed with that specific aesthetic in mind. Everything is exaggerated. Everything is cartoony. Uh, it's... The, the multiplayer bit, I don't really care about it, but I'm pretty sure that alone is going to draw far more people in that otherwise would have ever even taken a second glance at it. And as much as this could have been just another cynical cash grabs like, oh, Farmville was popular, let's do something like that. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, they actually put the work in and it is, if you're of that particular mindset, it is a very satisfying game. It may be a hard sell at 15 pounds over here, but if Farmville had you spending far more time than uh, you should have uh, on Facebook back in the day, then you're probably going to like this one too. And I did. Three chairs. <laughs> All right. Well, Pedro is addicted to farming. But out of curiosity, <laughs> what would you guys name your farms? I called mine Drug Farm. Uh, Worm Fister. I called it Things in Portuguese. <laughs> Which is Whoa, one of these things. Coises. One of these things is yeah. not like the other. One of these things just doesn't. Before, before we get out of here, uh, is there like a Portuguese phrase for like a donkey standing in the middle of a bridge? <laughs>